finally picked up some more new stuff to share with everyone. Um, this was someone's childhood collection they were getting rid of. Um, he had a bit more, but some of the prices he wanted for stuff uh, was a little bit much. But I did manage to pick up all this. Got a, a nice twin pod car. Uh, not my favorite Star Wars vehicle, but you know, it's there, it's complete. It uh, stands nice on its feet. A lot of times they get uh, worn and they start dropping down. A, a snow speeder. Bit dirty, but all the stickers are there. Um, yeah, the canopy works. I haven't tested the electronics because I opened up the uh, the cover and there's quite a bit of you know battery acid on there. I'm gonna try to clean it up with some vinegar and see if I can get the connections to work. If not, I may have spare parts for this. But I mean, it's pretty decent. It just needs cleaned up a little bit. And I have a few parts to complete it, so that'll be nice when it's fixed up. That's a land speeder. The gear shifter or parker, whatever you want to call it, is broken off. Um, but the front latch works. The stickers are pretty nice. So once again, I think I actually have a donor body that will uh, have the shifter for it. So I can make it whole. I can fix it. So I'm not sure I'm going to get this out of the way, but... Um, he had the Burkhine glasses. Uh, I had a couple of these, but I know I was missing the Boba Fett and Darth Vader one. I believe I have the Luke. Not sure about those three, so possibly have three I needed and one duplicate. But these are all in pretty nice shape. Used a little bit, but still pretty vivid color. This one needs washed. falling apart. Um, as I guess you can see, there is the AST-5. Really, really nice box. No inserts, however, but really clean box. And he still had the uh, catalog book, the instructions, and the uh, Kinder Products feedback form. So you can tell them how you like it. But the uh, vehicle itself is in pretty good shape. Yeah, pretty still, it's stiff opening and closing, so I don't think this got played with much. Let's get the mini rig is always kind of weird. Um, this one is, I think, one of the cooler ones, cooler looking ones. Um, but it's always nice to get a box that looks that clean and nice with this stuff. And hard to believe these cost $7.78. That seems kind of expensive for the time, but. Toys R Us, who knows. Got this, you can see in the background here a uh, Slave 1. Got the instructions for it. Pretty crinkly, but you know, no, uh, hasn't been eaten by silverfish or other bugs, so pretty cool. The three figures I did buy from him, he had, I don't know, probably 20 or 30 figures he wanted way too much for them given the condition and given that most of them did not have weapons but he let me buy some separately so I picked up this really nice R2 sensor scope really clean sticker, really clean dome and of course I had to pick up a Yoda. He had no Jawas or else I would have picked those up but Yoda missing his cane, he's got paint rub on his hands but he's Yoda so I picked him up and the Emperor's Guard so he actually had his pike clean looking so I had to pick him up as well In the Slave One, which is, I'm sure anyone who's watched my videos knows I, I'm not a big Boba Fett fan, and I'm not really a big fan of the ship either. It looks a little like an iron. Um, but I don't have the box, so I'm happy to have a box for the Slave One. Once again, there's um, no inserts in here, which uh, would have been really cool if there were. But still, I mean, in, you know, aside from this end being uh, taken off, I mean, the rest of the box is in pretty nice shape. So, 
you know, happy to get the box for that. The ship itself got the uh, wings. Um, really clean stickers. So I have to actually see if this is in better shape than the one I'm keeping or not. It looks close. Uh, canopy is pretty good. Got the ramp. Got the cover. Missing Han and his carbonite, but that's okay. I can find another one of those easy. It's the ramps that are the hard thing to find. So happy to get the ramp and happy to get the clean stickers. This sticker always has creases on it and every one I've ever seen. So this is about the cleanest sticker on the top I've ever seen. So pretty cool for a slave one. And takes a village for the Ewoks and got a whole village for them. Um, pretty complete. Not going to stick it together, but have all the pieces for the, the uh, trees and all the railings in here. Have the little elevator cage. Fire pits in nice shape. I haven't tried to take these out. A lot of times the pegs break for the fire pit um, sticks, but I think maybe I can generally get those out because everything looks in really good shape. And you know what? I didn't even notice before there is a Chewbacca that was caught in the net down there. So get a bonus Chewbacca with the uh, Ewok Village. And I'll just stick him back there because he's kind of cool. I just wonder if there's any other hidden action figures. So I got this and I got a couple other things. Okay, so I got a nice complete Y-Wing fighter. It's got all the struts here and they look unbroken. Um, there's no batteries in it to test the uh, the sound, but oh, there we go. Most of these always rattle because a piece breaks off in here, but this one's not bad, so I'm hopeful if I put batteries in there it may work. Yeah, the compartment's clean. There's no corrosion in there at all. So we'll have to see if it does work. Let's see the landing gear. Yeah. Landing gear doesn't quite work. Oh, there we go. Yeah, maybe some issues, but it does work and it does stay down. And I um, got the bomb for it. So I don't know how he managed to keep the bomb for this and all the guns, but lost the harpoon and tow cable for the snow speeder. Also got the instructions for the Y-Wing. He didn't have a box for it, but, you know, anything gets cool. And I got a pretty decent box for the Scout Walker. It's got a bit of tear at the top where the tape was, but, you know. A little bit of creasing, but not too bad. Once again, no inserts. But we do have a nice scout walker. With the original instruction sheet. And the, the original leftover sticker sheet, which is kind of cool. He's missing his top gun here, which is very common, but I think I have an extra one for that. Well, the guns are actually good. They stay where they are. He's good color, pretty good shape. Oh, it's missing the sticker back there for stand and walk. Guess that one never got applied. But he walks okay. So pretty good find overall. Like I said, um, you know when you go out hunting, like I said, this was part of a lot. Luckily this guy was willing to sell me part of the lot and not the whole thing. Um, because he had the uh, the Bespin World, not the Bespin World, the Hoth World uh, micro sets, but he just wanted too much for them. I think I passed over another Hoth Ice set and a uh, case full of figures. But, you know, like I said, he, the condition and without weapons, just too much, so I had to uh, turn my back on those. But really happy to get this stuff. I did get a few non-Star Wars items. Um, found a nice Ghostbuster at the flea market. 
He's got some mold on him, but I'm hoping I can clean that off. I have to look online to see how I can get that mold off. If not, he was cheap, so. Also found a couple little transformers. I don't remember their names, but uh, look in good shape. I know this one's sea spray, which I found him before, picked up another one. Um, it's pretty cool. Found a few modern figures as well. Um, sadly, they're missing parts. Uh, got Cade Skywalker missing a hand, but you know, I'm hopeful. I, if they're cheap, I pick them up and hope I can find parts or hope I can find one. Maybe I'll find one that's missing the right hand and has the left hand, you know, vice versa. Who knows? So go ahead and pick them up. Got the other part of the two pack here. I don't remember her name, um, but got her, didn't have her. Don't have any of the weapons. Got some nice little droids, super droids. Funky colored uh, Wookiees. Got the other uh, Bella Swan, which isn't Bella Swan the name of the Twilight Girl. Seems kind of odd, but got her. Um, this, I believe, had to be from the comic pack as well. Palpatine. Missing a limb, but you know, so many people in Star Wars are missing limbs, so. The X Wing pilot missing an entire arm, so he's a little bit more damaged. A Boba Fett. Yeah, I don't know why I picked up the Boba Fett. I picked him up because I got him with the uh, Macquarie C-3PO. Couldn't find the R2, but, you know, I like the look of the Macquarie ones. So, happy with this little lot. Um, don't know if I'll find anything before Christmas or not with this time of year, but always happy when I find stuff.